response to many companies' earnings has been quite positive this morning, whether it is GE, which I'm taking a look at right now, up 2.5%, or GM, uh, shares of which are up 3.5% on what were... It's funny, a very uh, similar profit to that of Tesla, $3.3 billion for the quarter. The valuation or the multiple to those numbers is a little bit different at GM than it is at Tesla. Well, I mean, GM, people just feel they need a fortune to be able to do the things they have to do, autonomous. Uh, I think Mary Barr is doing such a great job. People continue to want a dividend. I don't know, Ford, the warranty issues are really dogging them. So I don't want to equate necessarily when Ford reports, which they do tomorrow. Uh, it, it, it could be problematic. Ford could be problematic. Yeah, they have a lot of cars and trucks that have not been delivered yet because of problems with uh, different technical problems involving nameplates. Right. And uh, they have warranty issues. I know maybe I'm just trying to set the bar a little lower. Well, yeah, they, they've already uh, right. pre-announced right. in a they sense. Uh, Mary so. Barr was on Squawk today. By the way, um, uh, EBIT margin up 90 basis points year on year despite all the supply chain issues and higher input costs. I guess Here, here's what Barr said on Squawk about demand. We're still seeing very strong demand for our products, especially our full-size trucks, and uh, allowing for strong pricing. We are starting to see inventory um, rise a little bit, but well below uh, you know, pre-pandemic levels. So right now, we're still seeing a strong consumer. We're watching carefully because as, as we look forward, but uh, very pleased with the reception to our products. I think it was Webbush today, EV strategy paying off, B of A uh, results fully charged with more to come, Jim. Well, I mean, again, if you're the Fed, you're saying, oh, man, I got housing going, but I can't seem to slow cars. I can't seem to slow uh, travel. Uh, I can't, we can't stop raising because these areas where the consumer does well, David, they're playing whack-a-mole. Fed's playing whack-a-mole. All right. How are they doing? Are they going to win? They always win. The Fed always wins? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Fed always wins. Don't fight the Fed. Don't fight the tape. Right. Somebody loses. Well, yeah, the people who bet against the market. Look, look, think about it. Look, Volcker broke the market. And what happened after he broke it? Uh, the market was broken in 2007, 2000. What happened? Yes. The market broke in 2020. It, it eventually comes back. Well, I'm just saying that the companies themselves are doing so much better. And David, there's a company, it's a large company. It's a company that I think it's almost no respect whatsoever. It's a company that every day I come in and people say the parts, they double ordered, they don't need them, they're canceling orders, nobody wants it, China. And that name of that company, David, is Apple. I thought you were going there. Yeah, well, um, what do you, now, it's now up so much you could actually get heard. It's, it's again performing Better than the broader market by 500 basis points. Better. That's not, that's pretty good. I think it's fantastic. We have a lot uh, of companies, shares down by the way. 15. You see it right there. Yeah, well, funny. Retail. I mean, you know, we, retail is just not as bad as people think. Uh, that's another area that the Fed must be saying. When is it, When are we able to knock that bad boy down? Well, your point about pricing is, is right on target with Apple after they raised prices for some of their core services. Uh, a lot of notes last night arguing it's good news for others like Spotify. By the way, Jim, uh, the, se- the Sox index, Philadelphia Semi, up seven straight days. The, we haven't yeah. done that.